Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I want to make sure you guys can listen. So please just let me know in the chat, in the chat, if you guys are listening to me well. And I'm very excited to be here. Greetings from Switzerland. Greetings to everyone. Happy New Year, flat New Year for you guys. This is not going to be an a easy year, an easy year this year. A lot of challenges, a lot of things going on. How you good? Thank you. Big Pine Sailing. So guys, since you can hear me well, thanks so much for being here. It's a, you know, it's an honor for me to have all of you uh, on my live stream. Uh, yeah, Sassy. So everybody in the chat, uh, may the Lord really bless you. Uh, we will have a very challenging year. As a matter of fact, I was, I've, I've been thinking about it. We are entering the last seven years of what we know as normal life, okay? Because by 2030, they want to have this whole new agenda in place. And so this is the last seven years that we have, actually, because... Uh, a lot of things are going on, so of course we cannot say things clearly uh, the way we want to. But when I say V, you know it's this thing right here, okay? So I think it's starting this year, they are planning to install smart meters here. We never had this problem before, but now they are going to install everywhere, all over Japan. And that means that uh, a lot of things, you, you know, I mean, everything is going to depend on the V. Okay, if you don't have that V thing here, uh, you're not gonna get things done, of course. You probably won't have gas or electricity or anything like that. So we are, we are uh, you know, entering a very difficult time of human existence. And that goes back again, guys, to what I have said before. Uh, you, we either, walk with the light or with the darkness, okay? So uh, there has been a big push to uh, exterminate Christianity all over the world. And in place, this is what we are getting. We're getting the new world order. We're getting people who uh, have no love for their neighbors, who do, do not respect, you know, the, Lord, Lord's, the Lord's law. And they, they are the ones now who are taking over the world. Yes. All right. So, guys, uh, sounds like in times that, yeah, it, it does. It does. It does. So, I hope you guys had a, a good, you know, Christmas and New Year. I know Christmas is not on December 25th, but I did go out with my family. We had the day off. We went to a nice restaurant. I was actually wearing my the same Tom and Jerry. It was a present from my wife uh, for Christmas, and we read the scriptures, you know, so nothing wrong in reading scriptures on December 25th, and we did read Luke, the Annunciation and everything like that, because, you know, this, even though the Lord was born in September, probably, we had the day off, so we read scriptures and we went out, so Big hug to everyone, Colorado, Switzerland, Brazil, uh, Japan. I live in Nagasaki. It's, oh, okay. It's not the same anymore. It's not. But but Japan is not as bad as, it's much better than other places. But, you know, one thing I notice here, like uh, Costco, they've been opening their big centers around where I live. So, and our supermarket, it was, used to be a very good supermarket, a lot of items. Now, I, they are bringing less and less items. Like my wife went shopping last night and she told me, there's nothing there, you know? Because they open all those cascos around here, we are gonna be forced into going to those places. And again, if you don't have the V things, you probably won't be able to shop there. So dark times are ahead of us, guys. Okay, so uh, shout out. Let me start here, shouting out some channels here, some guys. So let me share my screen. Uh, okay. 
first one, RTS. Okay, these guys are fantastic, and I'm going to try to work with them this year and live stream with them. So RTS, Real Truth Seekers, uh, there are no globe stuff here, Most uh, just flat earth and other things. So big shout out to Marcia David. We're gonna see if we can work together this year and live stream as directly to RTS as well. Another shout out, uh, this guy here, he has an amazing uh, channel. I really like Mindshock Logical Analysis. He is not a flat earther or a bow earther. He just does logical analysis. And uh, he does some amazing videos, and especially when he cover like debates and stuff. Uh, let me hide this one. So when he does, uh, when he cover, he covers uh, debates. Yeah, he, he's a, he is a good guy. Like he makes some analysis. And I want to bring up this girl here. Okay, Gina loves Yahweh. Okay, she's on TikTok and she's really nice. I mean, she shares a lot of good videos. And a couple of weeks ago, she shared with me she was having some problems. She was looking for a place to live and she was actually looking for a car so she could live in her car. She had problems where she lived. So if you, anybody of you want to friend her, follow her on, on TikTok, maybe get in touch with her, see what's going on. Because I'm in Japan here. There's no way for me to uh, check anything there. Even for me to call there, it's kind of complicated. So if anyone wants to give her a follow and perhaps try to get in touch with her, see what's going on, what, what things she needs. But she told me she, she was having trouble where she was living and she was thinking about living in a car. Okay, she just wanted to be living in inside a car. Many people are doing that in the US. I've been watching a couple of videos. So she was actually looking for, you know, somebody who had an, a car or something. So please get in touch with Gina Loves Yahweh and see whatever you can get. Like call her, see what's gonna maybe you live near her and find out if it's she really needs because sometimes people just say they need things but they don't. So okay, so I want to give these three shout outs before we go on. All right, so let me check the chat here real quick. Have you looked into the most confounded map? The map with 178 words with domes over? No, I have not looked at this one. I don't know which kind of uh, map is this one. Uh, let me go over here before we start. Uh, it's gonna be a crazy live stream today, guys, because we're gonna look at some of the crazy globe believers. I mean, I'm talking about from statements to actions, okay? So we're gonna be covering this stuff. So hi, Eddie, what is your take on the South Atlantic anomaly? It's right over the Redeemer, the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio, thanks. So I, I'm not really familiar. I gotta look at this stuff, okay? And uh, so let me get it started, okay? Yeah, pray for Gina, and if you can follow her on TikTok and try to find out what's going on with Gina, okay? All right, so I'm not wearing my beanie hat today. I'm not as cold. I've been feeling cold a lot, and you know, it's, it's winter time. So guys, let's get started with this thing here. So we're gonna be talking about some crazy uh, globe believers or fanatics to the globe, globe religion. So first of all, I'm gonna get started with this lady here. Now, can you imagine she is a Nobel Prize physics, you know, and during the ceremony with people from all over the world, all those famous physicists and scientists, and she brings up flat earth, why? Well, one, she hates flat earth, of course, because it totally destroys her career. So let's watch this clip real quick before we go on and start commenting. Continue to push the boundaries of, of knowledge. This is something that we cannot stop doing. 
And uh, it's a very difficult task. And education for that is very important because uh, this is the only way to kill, to suppress or kill all the magic that happens, you know, the, those who believe in, in the flat earth or things like that. All right, guys, so the magic of those who believe in flat earth. So can you imagine this is a ceremony without the Nobel Prize winners and physicists and astrophysics, physicists, all that stuff, and he brings up, she brings up flat earth. That's the amount of hate these people have because, of course, flat earth totally destroys their careers, okay? I do have a video of a guy. Um, it's actually from a BBC uh, news, and uh, he was saying that his whole life, 35 years career, is in jeopardy right now because they found out the, there's something in, the, in space, you know, what we, what we know is the ether and they never admit it, but they found out there is something there. And there's no space, like it's impossible, a vacuum of space between stars and there's something there, a liquid like or the dark matter they call. So he just said that he believed Einstein his whole life, but now his whole career, 35 years, is in jeopardy because everything he had learned the whole for his whole life means nothing. All right. So this lady is said she's saying that uh, the more in, more in education, okay. So it means more indoctrination. You know, this is what she means. So all right. So let's go to the next one. Let me share my screen again. Start with this guy here, okay. So one thing I like it about the mind shock guy, it's because he makes a logical analysis. And he, I never watched the debate of Professor Dave and David Weiss because one, I could not stand that guy. I mean, I started watching and eight minutes into the debate, I had to stop because I could not, digest that guy, arrogance, you know, he's so arrogant. And uh, so Manchak, you know, like the math works, so hippogriffs are real because if the math works, space is real. If the math works, the globe is real. That's their mentality, okay? So uh, I wanna start with this video here. Let's watch. Why would two people on a flat pizza land look at the sky and see a sky that is rotating in different ways? All right, so let me explain to Professor Dave what's going on here, okay? Seems not to be too smart, okay? So I don't know how these people can even teach. All right, so two guys face each other, okay? So you see two guys here, guy number one, guy number two, they are facing each other. So two guys face each other while a car goes by in between them. So here's the car going in between them, okay? This guy's on one side of the road, this guy's on the other side of the road. They're facing each other, okay? So for the guy number one, this guy here, he sees the car coming from his right, that's his right hand, right feet, right foot, coming from his right to his left, counterclockwise. Okay, for this guy here, the car is coming counterclockwise. He's facing the car. But for the guy number two, guy two sees the car coming from his left to his right, clockwise. Okay, so this is exactly what's going on here. Why a guy in North America will see the stars moving clockwise and the guy down in Australia below, you know, beyond the equator, you see going counterclockwise. So it's not really difficult to understand. Okay, just like you guys, right now, I'm facing you and I'm facing south. Okay, this is south, north is behind me. Uh, Polaris is above, I can see Polaris at night. And I'm facing south, okay? So right now, let's say this phone is moving from my left to my right, it's going clockwise, 
but for you probably is going counterclockwise, right? So it's not really difficult to understand, but uh, Professor Dave, I mean, he's an anti-flat earther, so anti-flat earth, so he's going to create problems, bring some, you know, but this is nothing because uh, this is just an argument, you know, but it's not difficult to understand, right? So two guys facing each other, and each one on each side of the street. Guy number one sees guy coming from his right, right hand, right feet, right foot, to his left going counterclockwise. Guy number two sees just like, this is like me here, this guy number two is me. I'm facing you guys. So for me, everything here is gonna go clockwise, okay? Like my phone is moving clockwise in front of me. Okay, go around. But you guys probably are going to see this going counterclockwise. So this is what one of the logical fallacies that Professor Dave brought up on the debate. So I'm gonna say this to you guys, I don't think uh, I really think, uh, I didn't watch the debate. I only watch it, mind shock making this ana uh, logical analysis of the debate. And uh, I could understand better. I could tolerate better of what was going on because I can't stand Professor Dave. So let's move to the next one. The next guy is this guy here find him. Mm. I don't see his speak. Oh, right here. Okay, this guy. So a couple of weeks ago, he made a video, you know, making fun, saying that flat earthers say that Australia doesn't exist. But when you look at these guys, they are not too bright, you know, they, 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 they have a lot of followers, of course, because the the system, uh, the system uh, support these guys. You know, the system pr uh, provide them support. Like they have more viewers, YouTube and everything. But they are not too smart. So I was watching this debate where he was debating with Sit, and uh, these his arguments are really poor. So let's go to the very first argument here, and then I'll check the, the, the you know, check. rather than going to a place where it's really cold, you'd have to develop new technology just to be able to uh, get the oil there. Much right easier up. to go to another. All right, so this is his argument. Like uh, the argument is why not explore Antarctica, okay? And he was saying, well, they, they would have to develop new technology to go to Antarctica. How about all the new technology they are developing to go to space? How about this NASA has introduced a new $23 million space toilet to the ISS? It should arrive on Monday, $23 million. Okay, can you imagine that? How about all the new technology they are being creating to go to Mars, you know, to go back to the moon? I mean, $60 million a day? $21 billion a year, and they could not, uh, and I mean, it doesn't make sense. Doesn't this guy think what before saying things? Well, oh, he says that he's not going to Antarctica to explore Antarctica. It would be, they would have to create new technology, but uh, it's okay to go to space, you know? I mean, how about the technology they created back in the 50s? How about this snow cruiser here they created to go to Antarctica in the 50s? Nobody knows what happened to this, this stuff, okay? So this is one of the arguments those globe, globe believers bring. And I mean, it's so poor, you know, when you, when they, they, it seems to, they think they are smart and they, you know, they, uh, Kurtz, they call Flat Earth's name, but those arguments, they, they, their arguments are so poor, right? So I wanna show another thing here real quick. Uh, so I see them saying about the gradient, uh, the atmospheric gradient, 
he said, well, you know, there is no need to a barrier because the atmosphere gets uh, lighter, has, you know, less oxygen as you go higher. But it doesn't mean that you don't need a container. So look at these bottles, okay? When it, some, some liquids, including some soft drinks, I've seen some soft drinks that you have to shake before drinking, because the heavier part particles will come down, you know? It's just like the atmosphere, okay? The heavier water particles mixed with the oxygen are down here. So as you go up, you will find less than that. But it's still contained, okay? It's still contained. Now, this tree might not be carbonated, but I have seen plenty of them carbonated with the same consistency. You know, the heavier parts, they settle on the bottom and the lighter parts above, just like our atmosphere. So, uh, because globe believers say, well, you don't need a container because this is how it works. No, we, we do, you still need a container because this is how it works. The heavier particles, water particles in the oxygen are down here. As you go up, you find less of those but we still need, a, we still have a pressure. We still have air pressure. So they still need for the container. Uh, this is another argument these globe believers bring. So before I go to the next one, let me check the chat real quick. Mm. Let me remove this. So sorry guys, I can't keep up with the chat and, uh, but I'm going to try my best here, okay? So I'm really happy, a lot of people here, 74 people. Uh, so they don't understand the pseudoscience, the beliefs and religion of scientists, they definitely, okay, this is, this is a religion. So they will defend, you know, illogically, they will defend because it's like a religion, all right? Yes, I totally agree. Mind shock, breaking it down made it bearable. It was good to have him stop it and call out the book. I really liked it, his breaking down of the debate. It was bearable, just like you said here, because I could not watch that debate. I've never seen someone so, so arrogant as that guy. Extremely, I don't know. I mean, I can't see myself talking to a guy like that, you know, because uh, I mean, it's so arrogant, right? All right, so we see ever here about space being full of plasma. Yes, I, I there is something there, the ether and plasma. Um, so let me go ahead and go to the next one. How the how the earth in caster. All right, so let me go to the next one, last next next video. Let me close some of these here. Professor Dave can go, this guy can go, this. Okay, this one can stay, this one. So I'm gonna play the next video about the same guy, Leonard Walk, and then we will go from there. Let's watch it. Sorry. Why would they lie about the shape of the earth uh, when they didn't even know in t at a time when they didn't know that Antarctica existed? 500 years ago, they didn't know that Antarctica existed. So I beg to defer, you know, like uh, we do have uh, this map here from uh, 18, 1587. Let me share my screen. Uh, this one here, Urbano Monte, 1587. Okay, you see the land around. You see here all the continents, South America, Africa, you know, Asia, we even see Australia right here. And you see all these lands around, you know, surrounding. So here's a missing formed. And of course, perhaps he knows, but he ignores totally. Uh, but, uh, you know, there is another map. I'm going to make a video about it. Also, it, it's in Australia, that map. It's about the same time. It also shows the continents around here. And okay, so whether it was covering nice before or not, we don't know. We don't have access below the 60th parallel. We don't know what's going on. 
But 500 years ago, they did know there were lands are surrounded our pond, okay? Whether it was, you know, covering snow back then or not, I don't know. But at the least we know that 500 years ago, they did know, actually be prior to that, you know, I believe guys, all those stories that they tell about uh, the Europeans, the, the, the controllers at that time, they didn't know, they didn't want the people to explore the land. So that's why they filled their minds with fears, like, oh, there are monsters, you know, monsters, I see monsters, don't go. Because actually they didn't know. But the amazing thing, we covered this in one of Vika's, uh, Vika's live stream, right? There is a guy, he translated, this is Italian, and he translated all these words here, okay? There's a video where the guy translated everything, okay? So the Antarctica Treaty is actually probably over, uh, me. the Antarctica Treaty is probably over 500 years because uh, there are writings here saying that people would be fined if they visited these lands, okay? And there are names like uh, Kingdom of Ethiopia, Kingdom of Spain, Kingdom of Portugal. So there, there were people taking uh, care of these lands 500 years ago, perhaps even more than that. And there were penalties for anybody who traveled towards those lands. Okay, we covered this. There was an entire live stream we did on Rika's channel talking about this stuff. So to say that 500 years ago, nobody knew Antarctica existed, it's just pure ignorance. I mean, you know, so I feel actually sorry for that guy. He, of course, he makes a lot of money plan, uh, pro, pro, uh, promoting his globe lie, but the system, you know, supports this kind of guy, this kind of thing. So let's play the 31 before we move on. Things like ballpoint pens were developed to be able to work in space. Uh, when it comes to <laughs> otherwise, we would still be using pencils. Okay. This one here, he, said, he talks about the benefits that NASA has brought to us. Okay, let me hide this comment here. So uh, I've, I've been trying to think of a benefit of what NASA has provided us, okay? And he's saying, like, well, if it was not for NASA, we wouldn't have a ball pen, ball, ball pen you know, those uh, ballpoint pen, okay? we would still be writing with pencils. I mean, this is ridiculous, you know, this is just ridiculous. So I wanna play, this is from Iwarano. It's a moment for us to, you know, get a drink or something. It's a, a video. I added, I added uh, some other images. Just for you to see the technology we had 100 to 150 years ago, perhaps I mean, we don't depend on NASA for anything, you know? We could have done a lot of things without NASA. So guys, please enjoy this one. Uh, I will have a coffee or something. I plan to, during my live streams, to play a video, music video too. But this is really touching. My daughter watched it and she said, well, I love this song. So please enjoy and just see the technology we had 100 to 150 years ago. Thank you. 
All right, guys, this is really amazing. You know, we had all this technology 100, 150 years ago, and the person says that if we were not for NASA, we would still be writing with pencils instead of pens. I mean, I'm talking about like someone to be totally blind, totally blind, you know? I mean, it's, it's amazing. That's why I like this Bible verse, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. You know, all these people, Professor Davy, you know, all these guys. So this, these guys that I've been talking to, you know, about, like this planar rock guy, David Farina, it, they, they're just wrong. They are going uh, crazy, but at the least, they're just doing things online. You know, they're not moving to the next stage, which is physical, all right? So the, the person that I will be bringing up right now, things got really crazy. Let me check the, the chat first, real quick. So cool cars, yeah, we had a lot of things, you know, a lot of good things there in the past. They love the balls, yes. Uh, if you think it's self-evident, should be good enough for you to build your argument. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Fake Flip, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Hello, Fake Flip. Uh, shout out to you in England. Okay. Number one. So let's move on to the next person that I will be talking about. So some of you don't know, about three years ago, I, I really started getting sick back in 2017. I'm 57 years old right now, okay? So when I turned 52, I started having a lot of uh, hormone problems. You know, I, I, I used to, my face was red, like, uh, like, a, like a red pepper, bell pepper, you know? Like it was clearly like some hormone stuff. So I thought it was just, you know, regular stuff. But this thing kept uh, preventing me from work. And uh, I went to this doctor, that doctor, that doctor, you know, they, not, they, not, they could not find the real thing, what was going on. So I, start, I went to YouTube and I typed my symptoms. And I started watching videos from some other people. And, and then I said, well, one of them, I watched Dr. Berg talking about this thing called adrenal insufficiency that I should he request the doctor, the hospital to perform a specific test. And that's what I did. So uh, this thing is really, let me see if I find a video here. I think I have it. Yeah, I do have, I'm gonna play, play here while I, I talk to you guys. Let me share my screen again. So this girl, she is having a crisis, okay? This person is having an adrenal sufficiency crisis. So this is sometimes how I feel. As a matter of fact, I had a wonderful Christmas time. We went to, you know, I went out to my family, but on New Year's Day, I was in bed. So now the doctor gave me the same medicine that this girl is taking. It's called hydrocortisone, all right? This is the date here, 7th, January 7th. And he gave me 28 pills to take so my cortisol level can, you know, but it's very hard. So I feel just like that, I cannot do things. So on New Year's Day, that's how I felt, okay? That's how I felt. So back in 2019, I was gonna quit making videos at that year. At the end of the year, I made a video at the very end, December to January, and I was gonna just quit making videos because it was really hard on me, okay? I was trying to concentrate on my health only. And then this guy, and this guy here started making threats towards me. So this is when we go from just the uh, online thing to get physical, okay? So this guy here, he started making threats towards me. Now, I want you to understand one thing. Those posts, these were posted on my channel in different days on other different videos. Okay, it wasn't like in one video he put it all that stuff. No. So this pilot here from Australia, 
I start posting stuff like this here. I look forward to the day you move to New Zealand. So I did write on my book at the very end that I had plans. I don't have these plans anymore. But I had plans to spend one year in New Zealand. I'm in Japan, 12 hours flight. I went there. I liked it. I said, well, I'm going to spend one year here with my daughter, one of my daughters, and go back to Japan. I really like Japan. I have a permanent residency here. And, you know, this is my home now. And then he left another one. I don't have the screenshot for that one where he said he was going to pay me a visit. So my American friends told me that he really meant like beat me up. Okay, this is a way for you to say, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to pay you a visit, man. Means I'm going to beat you up. Okay. I don't have that screenshot, but you see here, I look forward to the day you move to New Zealand. Well, I'm not friends with him. So, you know, it was very weird. And then there's this one here. When you move to New Zealand under Commonwealth law, I will get you for fraud. So what does it mean? Well, I wrote a book about flights and the guy has no respect, okay? about my education and I can talk about flights as much as I want. And I'm show you, I'm gonna show you why here, okay? In his mentality, because I used the Google Maps instead of the Great Circle Route, he said he was gonna take me to court for fraud. Now I have the freedom to use any projection I want. There are thousands of projections. If you go to USGS, United States Ge Ge Geological Survey, you'll find like 50 different projects. So I can pick any one and draw the, the lines I want. But let's look at this flight here, Buenos Aires to Perth, okay? According to the Great Circle map, which it would be the correct route, this is how this flight should take place. But in fact is, that's not the way it goes. I have a video where I, I showed the communication between one guy, which try to hire this uh, airline, private airline, to fly from Buenos Aires to Perth. And this is the route they gave him, that they would have to leave Buenos Aires, stop in South Africa, and Perth, all right? So right there, it shows that I cannot only and only depend on the Great Circle routes because they don't work. They don't always work. So if you look at this one on the flat earth map, you understand why they have to make a stop in South Africa. They fly with the winds here and they fly from Buenos Aires, South Africa, stop for refueling and go on to Perth. Exactly like they show here on Google Maps. So this guy's argument, he wanted to take me to court let me close some of these. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this. And I don't need this one here. Of course, under the Commonwealth law, he has probably some leverage with judges, you know, all those people. They would try to get me somehow, right? But this is the this is when things go physically. And uh, guys, you, you gotta see this, okay? So I have this people in North America telling me that he was contacting companies, you know, trying to get people fired. He even tried to contact a uh, trucking company because one of the drivers was a flat earther. He tried to contact that, actually contacted the, the company and to complain that one of his, their drivers was a flat earther. So you see the mentality of this guy, you know? Now, what some of you might not know, and he let, there is another of his posts, right? That I have a print. So I devoted more than two decades of my life to law enforcement and putting criminals away to protect the innocent society. Now, when you speak about yourself, you always was going to speak highly. That's why the Bible has this verse right here for it to be if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Of course, you're gonna speak highly about you. But what if they had a camera all over these 20 years? So I'm gonna show you some stuff now. They're gonna make your blood boil, okay? 
So let's start with this one right here. Uh, this guy. All right, we'll just read a little bit of this. This one. All right, we'll just read a little bit of this. Come on. All right, we'll just read a little bit of this. MNPD detective decommissioned after assaulting a homeless man on a public street. And this is from The Scoop, Nashville. And watch this. He even, uh, on his report, he lied. Uh, Metro Nashville Police Department has decommissioned Detective William Thoroughbad. He's always going to be bad to me. After he assaulted, what does his wife think? What did you do today, honey? I assaulted a guy, a homeless guy, in front of his family, especially in front of his little cute five-year-old. He attacks the man, knocking him to the ground and placing a knee on his chest while telling him he's detained and he'd be in handcuffs if he had them with him. Thorough bad, who has been with the department for 10 years and served as a fraud detective, reported the incident to his supervisor on Monday, December 12th, and was decommissioned the same day. You're gone, buddy. After the assault in the video, the full, uh, full 17 minutes included in the story, Thorough bad calls 911 and reports the homeless man is armed and advancing toward him, both of which the video shows to be untrue. All right, so guys, can you imagine, uh, you know, there wasn't a camera filming this guy, this uh, Wolfie guy for 20 years. You know, if he was a, if he does this thing now, imagine what he had, he did during his 20 years in the force. If his, because you know, the Bible is very clear, guys, by the fruit, you shall know the tree. If this is the fruit, this guy for now is given now, imagine when, during 20 years of his career, how many people fell miserable, miserably in his hands, you know? And there's more for you to see that what I'm saying is not AI making things up. Please guys, you have to hear this one. Okay, you gotta listen to this one. With uh, Wolfie sixty twenty, I think t in order to be able to message me personally, uh, Wolfie sixty twenty gave me money after I humiliated him with this stupid assertion that you can correct from an observation that's only observable if you turn in beneath things, and he's got back in touch with me to say how's it going. I'll actually read it. So how did getting me sacked work out for you? Question mark. I got twenty percent pay rise. What is 20% on 400,000? Sucks to be you, mate. Slaving away at your channel for peanuts. Wake up, dopey. You will never give your family a good life as a flat earther. How many hours of your life do you waste on YouTube for peanuts? End of message. All right, Wolfie. What is, I, I, I what wasn't is giving you much. Bastard. I wasn't giving you much of a thought, to be honest, but it's nice to know that you, you're thinking about me when you get a pay rise. You know, most people would be celebrating and really pleased. You, you want to contact me and tell me about it. Ah, there's always going to be someone earning more money than me. Back when I was a rep earning good money, I dealt with royalty and celebrities that definitely earned considerably more than I did, even though I had a very nice car and a lot of money coming into the bank each month. Now, why am I a flat earther earning peanuts? Well, I am sustaining a family with flat earth. Not because of YouTube, but because of the support I get as you're asking and I'm reacting to it on a live show. For your benefit, Wolfie, as you're obviously a fan and you keep watching. I hadn't actually given much thought to going out and actually finding out who you were. I did disclaim that literally about five minutes after I made the overdramatic statement that you should be sacked for not understanding that you can't correct for illusions in aeroplanes, you stupid idiot. Yeah, but you're not responding to me about that. You're responding to me about how much money you've got. Yeah, that, that won't work on me at all. I'm very happy in terms of my choosing to be poor, which I am, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I can support my family from flat earth work, mainly because I've got exceptionally good supporters, exceptionally good Patreons, and like today, people smash the super chat. Now, when I get those chunks of money, which, which you know, I'm not saying that's an often thing, I don't think, I'm going to contact Ruhif, <laughs> or I'm going to contact Wolfie. Or I'm going to contact cats and tell them about how I've just got a big chunk of money out of being a flat earther. Now, you, you never even crossed my mind, Wolfie. Yeah? But I'm absolutely living rent-free in your mind and the consideration when you get a substantial pay rise. You know, that tells me, yeah, the money's not enough, is it? 
Because <laughs> you want it to do more. You want it to make me feel bad about being poor. Now, my response is that's not going to correct for drift that you're not experiencing in an aeroplane. And only observable if we're turning beneath the plane, you stupid muppet. Brian, over to you if you've got any comments. How, let's just say I'm not doing any of those things. Let's just say I live in a basement. Does that make the earth a globe? No. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm homeless. But either way, my point is that, right. so what? D does that mean that right. the point about actually correcting for illusions that don't happen on your plane will change? No, it won't. You know, I've got you by the short and curlies, I'm afraid, Wolfie, and you've got nothing to come back at me with other than, I've got more money. You know, also did that. Prof Phil Bell. Literally the Mercedes-Benz defence. That's what we got from Wolfie and Prof Phil when they get annihilated. I've got more money than you. All right. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, so a lot of people. <laughs> so what? That's fascinating. I wasn't going to add much more than, first off, good morning, fellas. Morning. Yeah. And everybody. And what, talk about? what a loser move that is for this guy to be asking Brian about his personal life. And he wants to hit Nathan up about his personal life and how much money he makes. Meanwhile, he thinks he's making corrections and, and adjusting for an observation taken from the ground. <laughs> like, like most, like a lot of the pilots that I met when I was working at, the airport this guy sounds like a loser that means that all that money apparently is is like a, a drop in the bucket or on a hot plate for him apparently it doesn't really help him all that much that's what it says to me exactly, exactly. so so it didn't sh it didn't alleviate your pain right it didn't make you forget about me hi guys this is what i was talking about i mean it's it's not me saying oh Eddie say no it's with everybody you know, and there is one more. This is the one that really got me. Like that's why I deleted this guy, and he's been saying that I'm afraid of debating him. After he posted all this stuff on my under my videos, look at this one. Hey Eddie, you should see what your daughters are writing about you online. Now three years ago, my daughter was fourteen. Was he following my daughter on social media? Okay, was he stalking her uh, digitally? I mean, my daughters are on board with Flat Earth. Okay, both of them. And they don't write about me. They come with me to the meetups. And when they write, actually, we live in Japan. They, they write mostly in Japanese now. They go to school in Japan, one of them. The other one teaches English in an international school. And, but they, they make posts in, in English most of the time. And I don't even know this guy. I don't know how he looks like. I don't know his real name. But seems like, you know, a very copy, you know, meaning police officer, rogue police officer attitude. And, uh, you know, but to show you that my daughters are on board with me, some of you probably have seen this video when Erica was uh, 12 years old. July 20th, and I got it by August the 15th. That's when I got the book, and we read it, okay? So, um, here in Japan, we have a small English school. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm from the United States. I'm here to say the Earth is flat. All right, this is Erica, and uh, she, uh, when she was 12 years old, we, she, we read The Earth Plane by Eric Dubay, and we did a video together. And last year, when we had the voices around the plane, she took part. She's much, she just turned 17. So why is this guy making comments, you know, like that, you know? So just for you to see how Globers, especially this guy, he has, he's still a cop, okay? He's still acting like a rogue cop. He just got a pilot, a pilot's license, but the, the 20 years he spent harassing people probably is still with him. That's why he harasses people even today. He calls 
company is talking about he tries to get all the pilots in, fired because the cop he still lives inside of him, right? And just to make your blood boil a little bit more. If, if it's anybody out there that knows of someone that might be showing concerning behavior around, you know, conspiracy theories, anti-government, anti-police, um, conspiracy theories around COVID-19 vaccination, as what we're seeing with the train family, we'd want to know that. We want to know about that. Uh, and you can either contact police directly or, or go through crime service. All right, so, I mean... Guys, uh, uh, this is what's going on. So this is the kind of untyped letters that we deal with on a daily basis. Some people just make videos, which is fine. They can make other videos they want. They have the support of Google, the machine, the, the big tech is supporting them. But others get really personal and they want to get physical. I do have a, a friend in Tokyo, he's an American teacher uh, teaches English and talk to Bill, shout out to Bill. He does sometimes take part of our live stream. And he was physically attacked by this other guy because of Flat Earth. So, I mean, it's just crazy, guys, what's going on. All right, so let me go back here to the chat and find out what's going on and remove this. So I'm getting better on StreamYard. So let me read here real quick. So they're talking about stars here. Harry, please look into NAC. Thank you. I will look at that stuff. I am in the middle of believing and I can see them right now. I don't know exactly what the topic is. Talking total coward. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. These people are, you know, crazy. <laughs> I don't know, man. It is, it's just like what I think is there is still a cop inside of him, you know? He had 20 years in the force, he got a pilot's license, but the cop is still inside. He still acts like uh, a bully, a bully uh, harassing cop, and he harasses everybody. And, and he, he, you know, did the same thing with me. And now because I actually explain better what's going on, we don't correct for Coriolis effect. This is this is because of this video here, he started attacking me, okay? So this is the video that started the whole thing. Let me show you. As we see in this animation, the airplane is going from one side of the flatter to the other. Right now, winds are blowing from west to east, so the airplane is adjusting to the left. Now, the airplane is flying through winds blowing from east to west, so the airplane is pushed to the east. At this point, the airplane is again flying through winds coming from west to east, so it makes adjustments to the west. Right now the airplane is ad adjusting to the right because it's being pushed to the left because of the winds. Right now the airplane is adjusting to the west because the, we the wind is coming from the west to the east. And finally here, one more time, the airplane is adjusting to east because it's being pushed to the west because of the winds. All right, so this is the video that really ticked him off. You know, you don't really adjust for uh, Coriolis effect. Joshua Silva explained that, how he looked at all the manuals and all the pilot from flat, flatten the curve. And, amen, thank you. And, uh, you know, this is uh, crazy stuff. And I have received also all that kind of threats, but I'm, I'm okay here in Japan. I, I feel safe here. But, all right, so let me check here. Time went by so fast. So guys, I do wanna talk about something here real quick. Let me find the page. Now, I have had people asking me, like, you know, I don't have any support. I never wanted, actually, over the years, 
So I've been making videos for almost seven years now. And a lot of times people ask me, you know, Eddie, how can I, you know, help? And I never want it. I never need it. Okay. I'm fine. Thank you so much. I have been able to help a lot of people. And I even, at one time, I gave away a P900 here in Japan. You can go out and buy them. And I never need it. I have asked a lot of people. And uh, actually, people have me asking. I never needed anything like that. Now, this year, things start off really crazy, okay? In 2020, we had to close our school for four months due to pandemic. And same thing happened in 2021, 2022, we did close for just a month. Now this year, we started off really crazy, okay? A whole bunch of students got, you know what, they see, think, and they're not coming. And when we have cases, too many students, they close down the whole thing, you know, that's the city ordinance. So that's a big, you know, and also my parents are still living. I have my father, 90 years old, my mother is 87. And I have a sister who lives with them and takes care of them. So on New Year's Day, she fell and broke her hip. So she's right now in bed, she can't move and she will be on a wheelchair from now on, whenever she is able to get out of bed. So it's kind of difficult for me being here and trying to do things on the other side of the pond in Brazil. So back in 2019, not, not saying people who organized those flat earth events, but I, be, I had somebody who offered me, they offered me to go to one of those uh, flat earth conferences and the person offered to pay my tickets in my hotel. I declined it, I didn't wanna go. But, you know, if that person changes, you know, a lot of viewers change, changes over the time. I don't have the same subscribers that I had three years ago when the topic of flights was hot. We were talking about flights all the time. So if that person is still out there, I mean, if you wanna, I can make that money in a better use right now, okay? Way better use right now. So I, I opened, I created now a, a uh, I did it just this week, a Patreon. So for anybody, you know, it's up to you. And let me see here how to do it. Gotta share this screen here to show guys. Uh, so I did uh, create a Patreon page for those who would you like to help. And I, it's, I don't have, I have three tiers. And I wrote here, hello brothers, sisters, and friends. I do not offer special content. The truth is should be free. And for all, by becoming a Patreon, you will be helping the creation of my content so everyone and not only for Patreon members. Thank you, everyone. So Matthew 10, 27, what I tell in darkness that speaking in light and what I hear in ear, that pitch upon the house tops. Uh, it, everyone is different. So I would not like to create special contents for Patreons only because this is like having a secret society where if you're a member, you get no more secrets. The same amount of content I create for one, it's gonna be for all. For those who feel like it, I also edit all my uh, videos. If you go to any of my videos, uh, let me see here. Go to one of my old videos. Okay, this one here talking about this flight. And that this channel, we will be talking about flights only. And so I added a PayPal link, okay, if you guys feel like it, whatever. Especially that guy that once offered me a ticket to go to the Flat Earth Conference. I mean, I can make way better use of this money right now. 
with my family going, you know, going through some difficult times that is going on right now. All right, so uh, I plan to have Caleb. Caleb, if you guys know, is that blonde guy on TikTok. I have invited him to be here next Sunday, 8 p.m. New York City time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. And, uh, okay, let's hope he will be here. I want to talk about this thing here. See these four envelopes? One, two, three, four envelopes. These envelopes, the city has sent us, you know, the, our local, uh, we removed this, the city hall sent us. They didn't send this last year, we didn't take. So this, each envelope means they are giving away $200 for each person we are in four here, okay? $200 per person to go digital. You go to the city hall, you bring all your documents, IDs, you know, such as your number, whatever, and they give you a card, a digital card linked to your bank account. So you cannot use cash anymore, you gotta use that, that card, okay? It's not that you cannot use cash, you're just preparing the way. So you offer this, oh, right here, you have $800 right here. And we are not taking it, okay? We didn't do last year. Now, there will be a time where they will not be offering money anymore. They're just going to tell us, you better go. You either go or there is, because there is, they will not be accepting cash anymore. So, I mean, as I said in the beginning, these next seven years will be extremely difficult. Uh, we don't have where to run. I'm going to talk a little bit about Brazil. Uh, you know that there is a communist consolidation in Brazil right now. So what's going on? What happened in the U.S. on January 6th last year, it was exactly what happened in Brazil this year, but just like 10 times more people. 100,000 people probably went to Brasilia, the capital. They stormed the president's office and everything, you know. And of course, there were agitators doing that stuff, dressed up with the Brazilian flag, but they are really communists. So the response, the government, the, the actual government has been putting those people in jails, separating family. They are putting people seven years old in jail, children in jail, forcing them to take, they are literally forcing them, you know, tying them up. And so I do have my family in Brazil. I have a house there. I don't plan to live in Brazil anymore. I was thinking about retiring, you know, going back to Brazil, live in a hot climate country. So I don't know. I can't probably even travel because I don't have that stuff. So I don't know what's going on, guys. A lot of things going on all over U.S., you know, Brazil, South America. So the next few years will be really hard for all of us, okay? For all of us. So we are approaching the end, right? Roger that, Eddie. Yeah. So thanks, everyone, for being here. And we plan to talk only about flights. That's what my live stream will be about. We're gonna have a couple of guests uh, first in the next few weeks, probably be Caleb. Uh, I plan to bring, you know, other guys. But then starting February or mid-February, every live stream will be about flight routes. We will be talking about, there are a lot of flight routes that we can talk about a lot of flight pads, you know? And uh, let me share my screen real quick again. Uh, this one, of course, but there is more. Uh, I really like uh, this one here. Thousands, thousands of uh, Australians and, and New Zealanders visit Lima, Peru, you know, they have the eighth 
wonder of the world there or whatever, the new wonder of the world that's Machu Picchu. And so when the whole pandemic started, they had to have many flights from there to bring Australians back. Every time they have to go to Lima, Peru, they got to stop in Los Angeles, which makes no sense on the ball earth. Okay, why not fly straight from Auckland to Lima, Peru? There's no way, because this is the flight route right here. Okay, the earth is flat and there is no other way of getting there. Unless you, of course, you have a, uh, uh, a special airplane, right? Special airplane, let me hide the comment here. The current comment. So my the plan is to talk about flight routes uh, in most of my live streams. Okay, how we'll be talking about. There are many flights that we should be talking about, and we will be talking about them all the times. Okay. So uh, in order to finish this live stream today, first I want to thank everybody. But uh, let me see, I'm gonna finish with a different video. I'm gonna finish with this one today. So thanks everyone for being here. I do plan to be back next Sunday at 8 p.m. New York City time. Sorry if I haven't had time to reply to all the chats, but leave a comment, I will go back, I'll go over them in the reply. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe and let's all pray for each other thanks a lot guys so i think that's it for today guys let's go ahead and close see you next week bye bye